Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, life and boy here, and today I'm going to be bringing you an Ark Survival Evolved video. This video is going to be my build on a capture slash taming ship. Uh, mine is going to be made out of metal. You can build yours out of stone, or you can build it out of tech if you so choose. I really wouldn't build it out of wood or thatch, <laughs> although both of those are going to be used in the build. Um, but that's all disposable. We'll get to that in just a moment. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking all of this and this and turning it into that. <laughs> now, it is important to notice, it's important to note that this is a motorboat, not a raft. Um, differences are this one is faster, it can go in reverse, but most importantly, it can hold more pieces. First thing you're going to want is a good location to build. You're, you want it to be shallow enough where you're not going to be interrupted by megalodons or jellyfish. And you're also going to want it to be in an area where there are no piranhas. There's also, by the way, an oil node right there. Um, let me show you where I am. Oh, they're in combat over there. I'm up here in the northern corner. Well, I'm halfway up the west side of the map. Here is my coordinates. Uh, just put that down. Right there, as you can see, well, <laughs> you may be able to tell. That's snow. Now you may have noticed that that uh, clip was taken a little bit out of context. That's why I'm carrying a GPS. Those Sarkos were never seen again. <laughs> and they wandered off killing stuff. I don't know. Anyway, what we're going to need here is four ramps, three ladders, eight window frames. Uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Nine door frames, not seven. Three actual doors. Those are reinforced uh, wooden doors. I, I use those because you can see them better when you're running from angry dinosaurs. <laughs> um, we're also going to be needing uh, 20 ceilings, one hatchway, one hatch. Now the hatchway is going to be it may be a little difficult to attach. Uh, we'll show you um, how I did it. Um, 25 foundations, 43 walls, one rail just in case, one dino gate, definite must. Uh, yeah, the, the railing is, uh, or the hatchway, just in case it is uh, facing the wrong way. Um, we need the one dino gateway and the dino gate. Uh, all of this stuff is uh, is what we're going to need to build the actual raft. Everything else is kind of extraneous. Uh, we're going to need one forge, two large cabinets, one generator, one cable, one outlet, two ACs, one refrigerator, one grill or fire. Uh, I use the grill because uh, our harvesting is set, turned up on my server. You're going to need definitely need a bed, um, two lamp posts and two regular lamp posts and one omnidirectional lamp post. I'll get to why you need the bed in um, in a moment. Um, okay, uh, and also, also to build. I'm still on the lamp post. I don't know why. <laughs> you may be able to tell I'm reading from a list. <laughs> anyway, um, you're also going to need uh, 10 wooden pillars and 10 thatch foundations. Uh, now, these, of course, you're not, hopefully you're not going to need all 10 of, uh, of either one of those, but uh, sometimes things just don't snap the way they, uh, the way they're supposed to. And you may have to throw it away and go back and start over. Anyway, um, <laughs> you're also going to need 16 thatch ceiling pieces. Uh, and we'll get to that in, uh, in just a few minutes. Of course, all of this is going to be, it's disposable. 
you're going to be actually uh, tearing it out. So here we go. Really quickly, the reason I recommend putting a bed on your raft, uh, especially when it's <laughs> of this nature, is just in case you die, you have a uh, you can respawn back at the raft wherever it is. It also gives you a way to uh, to find it if you happen to get uh, to get lost, or you can fast travel to it from other locations. Um, and just simply by going to another bed and uh, clicking on fast travel and looking around the map. Anyway, so here we go with our build. We're, we're, we need our pillars and our foundations. And um, of course, the first part of the actual build is to sink the foundation. You want it centered and sunk. Now, um, as soon as I get everything placed in my, in, in my menu here and put in, uh, I want to put it in my, in my hotbar, the two pieces that I'm working with, I uh, usually put down here so that it's, uh, so that it's easier to, uh, it's just quicker. Okay, now with the wooden raft, you'd have to take the, uh, you'd have to, to take the sail down, but uh, of course the motorboat doesn't have one, so, um. You're going to want to just do basically the same thing. You're going to want to come over here and get into the uh, the starter position. Uh, you're going to want to get into the driver position. Uh, you don't absolutely have to put fuel in there to do this. Um, you can you can actually eyeball it if you wanted to. But what I what I tend to do is I come over here. You press and hold the the triangle button and you just click on drive and then I just bring the pillar back and center it in that square right there and snap that into in, in the position and uh, then let go of the raft and here we go um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to put down a foundation you're going to want to put the foundation down next to it <coughs> always make sure to turn these things off um, otherwise it'll just sit there and burn up your fuel right? you just put the foundation the first foundation right there next thing is very important always take out the pillar that uh, that was in here you always take that pillar out first then you put the pillar down uh, put the next pillar down because um it seems to interfere with with the snap point of the next pillar and of course you put once you put that pillar down you put the next foundation in make sure that it's it's lower sometimes it'll show that it's lower and then when it's uh, when you actually push the button it'll snap into place uh, level or sometimes even higher but uh, this worked so uh, <laughs> anyway and again, come over here and take this pillar down before you want to take this pillar and this foundation out before you put the pillar in over here so that it does not interfere. Now that we have all that out of the way, we put the next pillar in. Eventually, why am I not putting the pillar in? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now you kind of get the idea here. I always make sure to put the, put the foundation down, then take the pillar out, and then put the pillar in. And uh, okay, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit until I get this where it wants to be, but it's not not very far. Okay, here we are. You can see the thatch foundation through between the metal pieces of the raft. Uh, that's where we want to be. You want it to be at uh, you basically. You want it to be level with the top of the raft. Um, that's going to afford you protection and uh, 
Well, whatever, if, things, if something attacks you from the bottom, it's going to be attacking the foundation, not the raft. So, um, if it destroys that foundation, then you can replace that foundation, or you can repair that foundation. Um, now, I do want to make note that I am going to be fast-forwarding through several places uh, uh, on this video. It's going to be a, a, a long video, so I want to make it as concise as possible. And so, um, well, with that in mind, I am going to uh, I'm going to show you what it is that I'm doing, and then I'm going to fast-forward so you can watch it, but watch it in hyperspeed. Now I've picked up as many of my uh, my metal foundation pieces as I can carry, and um, I'm going to attach them to this thatch foundation, and uh, then I'm going to uh, remove the thatch foundation, replace it with a, with a metal th with a metal foundation, which, by the way, is for some reason actually lighter than the thatch foundation. I don't understand it, but uh, well. <laughs> now that I've got this one in, I can go over here and I can rep I, I can destroy the thatch foundation. Make sure you're you're not destroying your raft because that kind of you know throw a wrench in the plans. <laughs> anyway, so now we're just going to go around and we're going to continue to attach these foundations in place. There are nine of them that we can attach right now. And as you can tell, well, as you can tell, the motor here is completely protected. That is uh, the reason for positioning it the way it, the way that it did. So the raft itself is entirely protected by the foundation. Now, um, as you can. Well, as I will demonstrate in a moment, eventually, where am I looking? Why am I looking over there? <laughs> anyway, uh, I accidentally had my mic muted when I was recording this, so I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, as you can see here, this foundation is not wanting to attach. It's not wanting to snap to the outside. It wants to replace the foundations that we have. So, um, we're not wanting to do that. So th that is where our thatch ceilings come into play. What we're going to do here is I'm going to put them in my little hot menu and we're going to go out here and attach them to the edges of my raft. Um, now, <laughs> I, I'm overweight now. Uh, anyway, so what we're doing is the reason um, we can we're doing this is uh, well I'll show you that in just a moment now you can attach these things two away from any wall or uh, foundation or pillar and um, I want I want it to be one forward one back and uh, two out to the left huh? I don't know why I placed that one uh, there that one's not <laughs> that was a waste anyway so onto the fast forward. Again, I am attaching, uh, I'm, I'm going one forward, one back, and two to the left. Um, but as you can tell here, these two corner pieces didn't attach. They won't attach because there's no support for them. And we'll fix that in a moment. Right now, what we're doing is we're trying to attach the foundation pieces under the ceiling pieces. And they will snap, but they won't snap at this corner right now because uh, because my raft is a little bit too close to shore so um, the good point the, the good thing about that is it didn't actually waste it it just put it back in my inventory it actually acted like it uh, like it snapped but it did not and it just put it back in my inventory but this is what we're doing we're attaching the foundations under the ceilings and then we'll be able to remove the ceilings and uh, you can actually go out for a little further than this but uh, this is there are limitations it's uh, within a certain radius of uh, some uh, some point on the raft I'm not exactly sure where but um, 
Now at this point, you're going to want to know where your doors are going to be because you're going to need to put ramps up there because you're going to be needing to get on and off the ramp uh, on and off the raft. Now the uh, ramps, excuse me. The ramps are not only um, <laughs> helpful here to get back on and off the ramp, uh, the raft, um, but they are also. <laughs> They can also be lifesavers when you're out and about and you have angry, angry things chasing you and you're in the water. And this will help you get back up onto the ship. Actually, this is pretty much the only way to get back up on the ship is by using the ramps when you're out in the water. What I mean by that, of course, is, um, well, when you're out deep enough to where you can't just walk up into the ship, you're not going to be able to um, access the ship any other way. You can't go up under it and uh, push the button and click drive because you can't reach the bottom of the raft, which is kind of the point of putting all these foundations in. Or at least it's part of the point. Of, of course, the rest of it is actually having something to build off of. Anyway, so once I get all of these in here I am I actually had to replace a couple of them because uh, well they snapped in the wrong place and replaced things that I'd already put down which of course happens so it's a good idea to have extra pieces and now I'm going to unwrap all of these things <laughs> after demolish all 16 of these thatch ceilings and make sure that when you're doing this that uh, the center of it says the center of the circle there says that's foundation or that's ceiling you don't want to destroy the raft or anything that you've already put down that you actually want to keep and now I'm going to um, put down the rest of the ramps you're going to want to know where your doors are going to be at this point um, mine I'm going to I'm going to have one right here behind the rudder I also I'm going to have one on the right hand side that uh, ramp is already there well it's over here and um, up here I'm going to have two ramps up here uh, this is for loading and unloading dinosaurs that uh, <laughs> are both willing and non-willing participants. <laughs> I have been known to actually uh, use this thing to scoop up dinosaurs that just happen to be on the beach, um, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> just, you know, run over there, scoop up some unsuspecting thing, and now you've got something that's very angry in your ship. But uh, that is why this thing is built the way it is. Now what I'm going to do here, I have the window out front. This window is for, um, well, I'm going to be putting windows along the bay here. Uh, these windows are for, so that you can fire through them. The one in the front is you, you can look out of it and fire out of it. If there's something outside the ship that you're interested in, you can uh, fire through there and trink it if you don't want to go in if you're not trying to get it into the bay uh, there are of course dinosaurs that are too big to go in the bay you cannot put a, uh, a behemoth gate on a platform so you know so if it won't go through a regular dino gate you can't put it on the raft now some dinosaurs you can't put on the raft anyway because if you can put a platform on it you cannot put it on a platform not my rules anyway um, now I've kinda got the uh, got the bay uh, laid out there I'm going to need uh, again the windows on the lower level are so that you can uh, so that you can fire uh, tranquilizers at at whatever it is that you're trying to, you're trying to tame uh, from relative safety you don't want to stand right up next to it you want to stand back a little bit that uh, because they can actually uh, damage things that are 
right next to the wall, which is also a reason you don't want to place anything directly on uh, on that wall on the lower level. On the higher level, it seems to be it, it seems to be fine. I uh, have a cabinet that is uh, attached that is on the wall on all of these that uh, doesn't hasn't seemed to have gotten destroyed yet. Of course, as soon as uh, of course I'm probably going to go out playing with it today and have the cabinet destroyed as soon as this video is posted. <laughs> and uh, yes, I just placed a window in a place that it does not go. And I'm going to have to replace that. And I don't know why I'm looking up at the sky. Again, my mic was muted. I have no idea what I was thinking when I was doing that. And, um... Now that window is supposed to go over behind the bay over to the left. I'm going to have solid walls along the top of there. That window goes over there. It goes up on the uh, second on the second deck. It is uh, so that you can look out through. You can look out on that side and fire at stuff that's over there from relative safety. Anyway, I believe it's going to be fast forward time. Now here, um, I've actually put that window in where it's supposed to be, up there, <laughs> on the second deck. Um, and I put the hatch frame in. I had to do a little bit of trickery to get it sort of the way I want it. Um, as you notice, that uh, bar right there on the bottom, that is where the, uh, where the door is, where the hinge of the door is going to be, um, and the ladder is going to be opposite of it. I wanted... I wanted it to be to the right as you're coming in the door. Uh, however, it's just not going to you're not going to go there. I don't know why, but it seems that uh, that is the only position it will never go into. <laughs> so um, I had to settle for this. Uh, what I did was I just come up off this uh, off this wall, put these two ceiling pieces in, and then attach this to there. Uh, again, it's not the way I want it, but it's the best way uh, other than the way I actually want it. So, anyway, back to fast forwarding. I'm going to go ahead and put the door frames in. Now, again, I miscounted. I need nine door frames, not seven. Um, so, they're going up there. I'm going to need the, the three door frames, of course downstairs and those three door frames are actually going to take doors the rest of them are not the rest of them are just up there to uh, provide you a way to fire into the pin from relative safety the, they're going to keep the dinosaurs from actually being able to come in there but um, it's you know it's not going to prevent you from firing in there and it's going to give you a lot of range, uh, a lot of downward range. Here is me putting in the ladder. This is the way, again, this is the best way that I can put it in. It just doesn't, it just absolutely refuses to go in the way I want it. Um, which is better than I got it on the, on the other ship. And uh, that's why I actually have the railing, the one piece of rail in the, uh, in the inventory and in, in my shopping list. Here we have uh, the interior, of this, the hull of the ship is complete. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm putting these two in. These are uh, basically a shelf there to save floor space. And um, now I've got to turn the ship around because I'm going to be putting the, the dinosaur gateway on it. And you're going to want to do that from facing the ship. I'll get into that in just a second. Now, um, 
<laughs> once I get actually to it. Now while you're while you're doing this, of course the ship itself is moving. And the dinosaur gateway will not snap, so you're going to have to eyeball it. Here I got it wrong. You're also going to have to time it so that it's setting where you want it and it's not sticking out too far or setting in too far. Um, this is uh, good enough. <laughs> And uh, now, and now, of course, you're going to want to put the uh, put the gateway in here. I mean, uh, not the gateway. That is the gateway. You're going to want to put the gate in here. And the reason you're actually doing this from here, facing the ship, is so that the door opens that way, so that it opens into the into the ship normally. Now there is a way of tricking it uh, to opening against, you know, to opening outward. But uh, the reason you want it to open inward is so that you or someone else can come up here and shut it when uh, when you get a wild dinosaur or wild whatever in that pen, and then you can trank it from upstairs, or you can actually, you know, some uh, some. You can trank it from downstairs through the windows if you want to, uh, or if you, you could have multiple people on the ship doing this. And uh, like I said, in order to get it to kind of trick it into opening uh, the other way, you kind of get over here and open it that way. Otherwise, like I said, it will open. It will open inward, and uh, that's well, that's the actually the way you want it to open on the ship okay now uh, to building to putting the interior putting the uh, all the amenities in here now uh, most of this you're not really going to need all that much uh, I put the air conditioners in here so that I can use this up north and I'm not going to be freezing while I'm uh, while I'm running around and I don't I won't have to actually I won't have to keep a bunch of fires going <coughs> Two air conditioners will keep you will keep you comfortable in, in just about any uh, any environment that you're going to be taking this ship to. Um, also, you're definitely going to going to need the bed in there. So in case you die, you can respawn back on the raft wherever the raft is. You can also fast travel to it. Here we have the ship completed. Now, uh, it is a good thing that I uh, saved a little bit on uh, uh, on those ladders. I had three ladders scheduled. I had three ladders in the list. I only used two. I had four ceiling pieces for the shelf. I only used two. The reason it's good is because the generator wouldn't wouldn't actually go where I wanted it to go. The generator would go, but the wire or the cable wouldn't snap to it. So I actually had to move it back, which meant that I had to use a couple more pieces to get it and to get the cable to get the outlet where I want it <laughs> so that I could run the refrigerator that's up front and the two forward lights which uh, do actually you can actually see them shining light on the beach anyway that is the build of my capture ship I hope you enjoyed the video I do want to remind you please remember to leave a like if you liked it I thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been an incredibly long video. I really appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Laughing boy out.